Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to actually be showing you a little bit of PDO. I kind of skipped over it before. I uh, showed you a little bit of MySQL, how to use uh, MySQL Connect and then MySQL iConnect. Uh, with the new PHP, I've been asked a little bit about PDO or getting a tutorial on PDO. And I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of a breakdown of it. Um, should go pretty simple. Um, I'm going to be using this on a server locally so I can actually pull in the data and show you that it instantly loads and why you should do some things with PDO and not other things with PDO. Uh, we'll be setting up a database and we'll also be connecting with PDO. So to get started, we're first gonna need to know what drivers we need for, for PDO. So I already have my page started with error reporting EAL. The reason why I have that is to show you guys all the errors that might occur on this. Um, from there, we're just gonna actually see what drivers we have. From the drivers that we know that we have, we can push on and start our connection string. So to start off, we're gonna do a print R here. Do -do. Because what it's going to do is return us a array. So I don't need that. I just need to go PDO. Then double dots here if my computer responds. Now I have a list of all here. I have a, a attribute, driver name, uh, emulate, error mode. These are different things that you can set. What we're going to be doing is get available drivers. Boom. Now this gives me some information about uh, this is on 5.1. Uh, my dream is a little bit old, so it doesn't give me the exact information or the newest information I can get for it, but it gives me enough information so that I can do this. So once I have the print our PDO get available drivers, I can go back to this page, click refresh. There we go. So the first driver that I know that I have uh, on this server, you I only have MySQL. You can have MS SQL. It's one of the great things about uh, PDO is it can support multiple databases, SQL Lite, uh, MS SQL, MySQL. Uh, Oracle, ODBC connections, all different types of connections. You just have to have the drivers installed. In this case, the only driver that we have installed is MySQL. So I'm only connected to a MySQL database, so I'm not too worried about that. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually write a try out here. Doot. Now, you've never seen me use a try, and the reason for that is I just don't use it much. And I'm just going to go DBC. So DBC connection, database connection, equals PDU. No, whoops, I wrote that wrong. New PDO. Okay, so it's going to ask me for my details. So I need to first define uh, what driver I'm going to use. Then I'm going to choose my host. In this case, I have to use port, so I'm going to show you how to use port. And then I'm going to show you database. Uh, one thing I haven't tried to see if you don't have to specify a database. So we're going to be trying that while I do this live uh, on this video here for you. So let's start off. So we're going to do quotes. As you see, it's broken down. So we're going to go my SQL. Doot. Okay, from my SQL, I need to choose what I need to do after that. So we're going to go host is equal to um, locally. So I can go 127.0.1, or you can type in local host. If you need to, you can type in a domain, depending on how your server is set up. Um, from there, uh, we're going to define what database we want. So we're going to go DB name. Uh, let me just verify that it's correct here. I don't use PDO on an average basis. Yep. PDO name. There's other things you can set in here. Uh, you can search it up. PHP page. They have a full resource, uh, especially on documentation on this. So database name. Uh, it's going to be called test is what I have. I have no tables in it yet. And like I said, I need port. So I'm actually going to go back here and go port is equal to 3307. It's just how the local server runs in case you have uh, this portable one. That is a, the USB web server. I have a tutorial on that. You can actually see how that runs and everything. Uh, since it runs on 3307, I can change that port, but I like to leave it there just in case I do install MySQL on the server. It doesn't get in the way or fight it or get errors or whatever it throws in. So next thing we need to do is user. Now, whenever you're setting up uh, a database, you never want to use root unless it's going to be a development and not attached or uh, connected to any way to the internet where the other people can access that page. It's uh, kind of the last resort you use that username, but in this case, I'm on a portable I'm not too worried about setting up usernames. I kind of just want to show you how to connect to a database and how to move around with it. So we have those three set up. Doo -doo. Okay, after I do that. Uh, so with a try catch, I never really got into showing you how that fully works. It tries what's ever inside its first brackets. If that fails, you can do a catch that throws out the errors. So we're going to go catch. Uh, I don't use catch enough either, but uh, you can go PDO. Knowing what type of data you're going to get back. PDO exception as E. And then another bracket. 
And then we're done echo. Echo E equals get. And I did not use the right thing. E, e uh, fuck. I cannot type here. Sorry about that. Uh, get message. Doot. And it shouldn't have any special parameters in this case. Uh, but I did write something wrong here. So I need to spell exception wrong. PDO exception. Ah. I'm thinking C sharp. I don't need to write as. Okay, so what I'm doing here is basically I tried my connection. If my connection works, it won't do the catch. If my connection doesn't work, it'll throw the exception error straight at me. And that's another way to do it other than doing this error reporting. I just have error reporting to show all errors. Just something I do. And we can go die after that real quick. Die. And then underneath that we're going echo. Yeah. Yeah. So I know it connected. We'll know it connected because we won't it won't see see an error at all, but I'd rather just do this for safety for us. So I have that set up. I tried my connection, pointed to my server, have my port set up, and database name selected. So let's go over here and click refresh. Boom. Yay. Okay, I got yay. So what happens if I break this? So say if I forgot to set my port in. I know I need 3307. So what happens if I forget my port? Doop. You're gonna see an error appear here. Doop. Refresh. Boom. Longest error. Now, if I turn off error reporting, doot. Boom. Okay. error reporting doesn't change anything. Why did that? Because I have it echoing automatically. Uh, that's what the catch is for. Now, if it's a live data, you might want to echo the exact data, but you might want to set out a certain type of echo so you kind of understand what's going on or that which in uh, within that catch you have it where it reports the error and then. Maybe we move them to another page that's like a 500 error. I, it's up to you on that one. Uh, so as you can see here, we have uncut, exception, da da da, error, cannot connect. Well, it can't. Uh, I have the port removed. Now, like I said before, I have not tried PDO without selecting the database. So we're going to try to just not select the database here. See if it's a requirement or not here. Uh, I didn't look into the full specs of it. I did a little bit of it, but not a lot of research on all the different things you can break on it. I'm good at breaking things. So refresh, boom. Okay, so you actually don't, if you have multiple databases that you want to connect to, uh, you don't actually have to define the database. I was pretty sure you can't, you didn't have to, but I wanted to verify that for you. But just to make life a little bit easier, let's go back in. Uh, and I can't click to save my life. Uh, go back and actually re-add that in. The DB name is equal to test. All right, so. Like I said, test has nothing in it. Let me pull my SQL Workbench. I'm in test right now. There's no table. So let's just create a simple table. Uh, Doot. Create schema. No. I am already messing up many times here. Create table. There we go. All right. So now we're trying to create a table under test. So uh, we should name this table. Since I'm going to be using it for a template system a little bit later, we're just going to go. Template. And we're going to go template underline ID. We're going to leave it an integer, make it auto. And then template name. And I'll edit onto this later on to uh, show you how to do a database driven uh, design template. Uh, actually, we'll just change that to title. Doot doot. We don't need auto increment. Click apply. Click finish. Okay, so that means we have one table here. Select. All right, so there's nothing in it. over here. I'm just going to go title home. Apply. Apply. Finish. Okay, so now we have one piece of data in it. So I'm going to go back to my PHP. Now, with PDO, you're going to be using a new settings uh, to try to pull or do your prepare statement. Uh, there's prepare, there's execute, or you push it into a variable and do, it, do the same things that I just said. Um, we're going to work our way down here. We're not done to do a try escape on this. We're just going to actually, how can I put it? We're going to prepare the statement to put it into a variable. And then from that variable, we're going to execute off of it. Uh, you can execute with adding more data into it, or you can run off the prepare. Uh, a little bit different on how you want to do that. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to prepare it. The, the old way how you prepared it for MySQL OI and MySQL uh, Connect or queries and then show you the new way and why it's a little bit better or what it avoids from doing for us and how to push an array. So we're gonna start off with old data query. So 
normally we're going to set up a variable. Uh, we're going to say uh, Q1 is what I'm going to call it. Q1 is equal to. So we're going to call it for a database connection. DBC, doot doot, prepare. So as you can see, prepare statement and then array options. Now you can add array options here. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, we're just going to prepare our statement. So prepare. Now, let's see, we know our database is select and we already, our test, we already have it selected. So we're going to go select all from, uh, we have a table, right? Oops, I've been using the wrong tags. Oops. Uh, table is called template. So we're going to go into template here. Where, mm, 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 mm. actually, we don't even need to where. We're just going to limit it. Limit one. Okay. Now, I can push in a variable if I need be. That's kind of the old way we used to do it. exactly send in a variable after it's been usually acquired, changed, uh, made sure there was no SQL injection. PDO actually take, takes care of that if you use a newer way. But I'm right now showing you the older way. So let me uh, set up a number here. So we're going to actually use a, there we go, number one. So we're going to actually use a where statement. Kind of just show you the old way all the way through. Where? Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to go template ID is equal to and then we just need num that is the old way of doing things so from that i should get a quick query uh, another thing i didn't show you is how to view the data and that we're going to get to that too after this so we're going to go q1 execute and i did not spell that right execute so what we did is we prepared prepared the statement then we're going to execute it uh, next thing we need to do is see what that, that data is. Okay, so from what I have here, I set up our fetch and everything, but uh, one of the major issues I just noticed that I did is I used prepare and that query as my uh, tag right after DBC here. So if I actually change this to query, refresh right here, boom, we got home. So if I said, uh, I don't have any tags there. So let's do a BR and the BR. So everything is on a different line here. Boom. We have home, yeah, da da. Uh, one of that would be the main cause of one of my issues. Now, if I change the query to the old way we used to do it, uh, where we named template, actually I used the wrong tags there. Template ID is equal to num. Refresh, boom, fade alert. Fetch mode, non-object. So basically what I just did is I'm saying I want to find a whole multiple arrays. In this case, I only pull back one from what I did. Uh, it could also mean that my query is wrong. Uh, it can lead to, to both of those being the issue. Now, is my query wrong? It could be. It can be. It might be. Why would that be? Uh, mainly because I didn't use the right quotes. Uh, whenever you try to set a variable in it, you always want to use the double quotes. So let's just, just see if this fixes it here first. As Dreamweaver tries to add double quotes everywhere I do. It's really annoying to some extent. Boom, fix. Um, as you notice, it didn't work at one point, but it did work at another point. That's because of the single quote and double quotes. When you use double quotes, you can push in a variable. If you use single quotes, you're not able to push in a variable unless you do uh, brackets and you, or you escape it. Um, it's kind of the easier way to kind of tell that but uh, as you can tell from the error you don't know if the query was broken or if it didn't pull back any data to be honest it shouldn't be throwing you any error so it was most likely a query that's the great thing about the new PDF so that's the old way that we used to do it hey thanks for watching um, if you like the video please leave a comment or uh, like below um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel click subscribe and if you would like to watch another video there's some videos listed down below here and thanks for watching